There we go. Yeah, he's gonna be a good fish. It's gonna be the biggest one today. He is pulling some drag. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. Wade fishing <laughs> at a new spot. Dude, they fight hard when you wade fish, no doubt. Good fish. All right, I know it's in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. The flats bug. That's what I'm looking for, ladies and gentlemen. The quarter ounce flats bug. Oh yeah, here we go. Black and gold quarter ounce flats bug. Exactly the lure I'm looking for. And looking for the curl tail right here, folks. See if I have my favorite color in here. Ah, here we go. The black and gold. Once again, we're going to be using the black and gold curl tail and the black and gold flats bug. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, the plan is to do some wade fishing tomorrow. Going to head out with my buddy Captain Marvin. He's going to be taking us to a brand new spot. We've been we've been scouting honestly on Google Maps, and it looks super super juicy. Going to be using two lures only. Going to be using the flats bug quarter ounce and the curl tail one eight ounce, both in black and gold, because I think the water clarity is it's going to be clear, but it might be a little bit murky from all the north winds and the water, the fresh water that's been dumping. All the fronts have been coming through, but. Really looking forward to it because wave fishing can be really tough, especially in the winter time. But if you have the right lure, which I think the curl ton of flats bug are going to be money, you're going to catch a lot of fish. So let's see if we can catch some fish, right? It's mushy. There we go. There's a fish. It's a decent fish. Got some pull. I think it's a rat red. Yeah, on the bugs. New place. Ooh, pretty red fish. Got that blue tail. Really pretty red. Look at that. Beautiful redfish right there. On the Hydra Bug. Quarter ounce. New area. Oops. It's always fun exploring these new areas. With a lot of mud. Where you're sinking. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful redfish. There you go, my friend. <laughs> there he goes. There we go, another one. Hope this is not the same one I just caught. No, I don't think so. I mean, that there, that's no, that's a smaller guy. Another small little red. Is he the same one? I don't know. No, he's smaller. Hey, 
Ah, there we go. Nice red. All right, we just need to navigate ourselves around this mud. Oh my god, this mud's so thick. Oh my gosh. Ah. Whew. Stuff we do for wade fishing. I'll tell you what. We just gotta be careful for snakes. It's the only thing. Yeah, it's a red, dead red. It's a nice big red. That's a mid slaughter. Poor guy. Looks like he's been here for a few days. Mullet going crazy right here. Let's see if anything's kind of chasing them around. No, I just feel them thumping. That's just mullet. Mullet being mullet. Lots of bait right here. Which is good. Bait is good. There we go. It's gonna be a small little rat red. Yep. They are sitting in the deep. Come on, buddy. It's over. Just tell me where the big ones are and I'll leave you alone, I promise. Thank you, my man. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a big red right here. Oh yeah, big red. Yeah, I saw him. He was following the lure. So they are here. Just sitting more in a deep area. There we go. He's gonna be oh he's got some pull on him. This is going to be the biggest fish today, though. Well, <laughs> in this little ditch. Small little dude still, nonetheless, but got him. Happy, man. These these guys are feeding really well. Look look how blue those tail, that tail is. That right there tells me that they're feeding on these crustaceans with all this oyster. So this is a good area. We just got to find the big ones. We threw the small guys. Whoo, that's a pretty fish. You are a pretty girl. There we go, another fish. Another small little guy. Small little guy. <laughs> I found the school of small rat reds. <laughs> but still, man, so much fun. I mean, when you wade fish, you can't be picky of the fish that you catch because sometimes that's all you're dealt with because you're kind of limited to the area. Another beautiful fish with another nice blue tail. Wow. Or a small red. A chicken red that wants to be a speckled trout. Another small guy. That's like seven, six, seven small guys. <laughs> All on one lure, dude. <laughs> I love it, man. What a productive, productive session for sure. Catching these fish, beautiful fish. Basically, it's really easy what I'm doing. When you wade fish, you gotta keep on moving because if you stay stationary, I mean, yeah, sometimes you might get lucky and the fish will come to you, but more often than not, that's not gonna happen. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm scanning, I'm moving, I'm looking for bait. You know, oh, sorry, surface tension in the water, and then I'm looking for the drop offs. That's a that's gonna be a good fish, I think. Drop offs for him, you know, shallow to deeper. Yeah, he's gonna be a good fish. He's gonna be the biggest one today. He is pulling some drag. Yeah, he's gonna be a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. Wait fishing <laughs> at a new spot using the bugs and just trying to see if I can catch some fish, and it's happening. Man, I am so lucky. So, so lucky, so blessed. Once again, I caught them in the deep. From here, it's like maybe a foot and it just drops to three feet. And that's where they're kind of hanging out and it's like kind of a mix of a hard and soft mud. Oh, dude, they fight hard when you wake fish, no doubt. Good fish, good fish. There he goes, another run. He's like, man, this bug is delicious. Get this in my mouth. <laughs> oh man, that's a good fish, people. Good fish. 
Good fish. You are done, my friend. You are done. All right, just chill out. Yeah, we got him. That's a good red. Good freaking red. Dang, he's gonna be a big dude. Seven and a half pounds. Wade fishing, baby. <laughs> Usually I catch this kind of fish kayaking, not wade fishing. Okay. So you spooked a good red back there, huh? Like, shit, that sucks, man. Oh, dude, that's a good fish, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a break from our episode. Let you guys know that we're going to be doing an awesome giveaway today. I'm going to be giving away 10 assorted colors of the famous Bugs Fishing Lures, the Flats Bug that you see right in front of me. This MSRP retails for over $70. So how do you enter? It's really, really simple. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification. Also leave a like for this video. Leave a comment too, but do not say giveaway. Leave any other comment besides giveaway. If you put giveaway as a comment, I will be forced to delete your entry. Also make sure you are following me on Instagram, rx underscore angler. And also you gotta be following Bugs Fishing Lures on Instagram, which is also linked in the description box below. We'll be doing a random draw and I'll be announcing the winner, let's say in about one week. One lucky winner is gonna win all these Bugs fishing lures right here, the flats bug, which once again has been absolutely killer. And I'm killing it in this video with the flats bug. So yeah, I hope I wish every one of you guys good luck. The reason why I'm doing this is because I love every single one of you guys. I want to give back to my community and I want everyone to experience these awesome lures from Bugs Fishing Lures. So good luck. I love every single one of you guys and back to our video. Flats bug man, such a freaking effective lure when you're blind casting wade fishing. I'm telling you, bugs works for wade fishing. You think kayak fishing is the only place you can catch uh, uh, fish with bugs? No, you're wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna put the curl tail on because a lot of people just don't really understand about bugs. And that's what we're here to help you guys out. Let me show you guys what we got here. Here is the infamous curl tail. I think this is the 1 8 ounce. Yeah, 1 8 ounce black and gold. This, this thing has been a sight casting freaking phenomena. One lure, if I think, or one bug's lure, if I was going to just pick one for the rest of my life, as I shared with many of you guys, is this fella right here, this exact color, exact size. Although, I, you know, the quarter ounce is actually pretty good too. Oh, there we go. That's gonna be a trout. Nice. No, it's a red. <laughs> He's acting like a trout. All right, on the flats bug, or not flats bug, excuse me, the curl tail. Everything on bugs day, boys, as I stated in the intro, it's going to be a bugs day. I had a good feeling, and I was right. Dang, nice hook set. There you go, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, there's a big, there's a sheep's head right there. Try to catch a sheep's head. Got him. Side casting sheep's head. <laughs> He's gonna be good eating. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. On the flat, on the curl tail. Once again, everything's on the bugs today. Bugs been killing it, man. <laughs> sheep's head are underrated, man. They fight. Yeah. <laughs> sheep's head's good fish, man. Now right, we gotta be careful not he doesn't bite us. Just stay still, brother. Side casted this guy, man. Weight fishing, side casting, redfish, sheep's head. What a good day. That's a beautiful fish. Let's take some pictures. That's like my favorite type of fishing to do is, man, side casting fish. Yeah. I would I would do that over anything. Anything. Any day, man. You know what I mean? It's so much yeah. fun. Side casted that sheep's head, like I said, the best side casting lure in my opinion is a bug's curl tail. I mean, 99.99% of the time, they're gonna eat it, you throw it in their face because it has that rattle, the fur. I mean, this thing is so effective. If you're interested in these lures, everything's linked in the description box below, but let's catch a couple more fish and call it a day. There we go. Yeah, the activity's starting to pick up. I guess it's time to feed. The tides has changed. 
small reds are coming through. I have to think it has to be the rattles. There we go. He's got a little bit of pull on him. He's going to be a bigger dink. Dink nonetheless though. Yeah, Louisiana slot for sure. Man, he is pulling, man. Look at that light action. Bow, bow it up. You'll, you'll think it's a it's a trophy fish. <laughs> trophy dink. I would say he's probably about 18 and a half. Definitely Louisiana quality. Oh, all right, dude. There you go. Another one. No, I think it's a red. Want to be trout. Make sure our line is good because we caught a lot of fish already. Another one. Yeah, they're here, man. It's like a school of rats right there on that apex. Yeah, it must be. They're getting bigger. Pretty soon we'll get another slot. <laughs> This guy's gonna be another, eh, maybe 18 incher. He got that on the fall. That's that's got over 10 fish already in this new spot. Wade fishing, it's paying off really good. Nice little spot we found. He's a slot. This one's a slot. Yeah, he's pulling drag. This is a slot. Weeding through the dinks to get to the slot. He's going to be a lowering slot, though. Just I can tell by him pulling that drag. Hopefully, I don't look like a fool when I bring him in. <laughs> Let's move him up more towards the shallow. Get him away from this gut. That'll give him that torque to run. It's got to tire him out because it's light action stuff. Oh yeah, that's a slot. He's going to be a lower end, like I said. Probably 20, maybe 21 if I'm lucky. We'll measure him up there. Nice fish. Come on, buddy. You're done. You're done. Whew. Get him on that shoreline right there. There you go. That's another good slot redfish. Whoo, beautiful fish right there. That's two slot reds. A keeper sheep said we're doing really good at this new spot. Once again, curl tail, curl tail. Goodness gracious, what can I say? I can't repeat myself enough. A curl tail, the magic lure. Dang, trout. We just need a flounder. We got our slam. Oh, that's a red. Nice, slot red. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good fish. Good fish. <laughs> 